right, Jaden, what game are we playing today? Yank. That sounds like an interesting game. It is. And do you like it? I do. It's actually really fun. Why? Well, because Yinch is a great two-player pure strategy game. So if you just want something to be able to do and test each other's minds, it's a great way to play. It's a great, great game to play. Cool. Another uh, two-player abstract game. But what makes this one so unique? Well, this one has no luck involved whatsoever. Oh, okay. Well, how do you play it that makes Yinch Yinch? Well, Yinch Kaboom. Use it has these interesting playing pieces. First of all, they have the rings that are your playing, and then the tiles, which are all double sided. The objective of Yinch is to get three of your tiles of your rings to the side of the board before the other person gets their tiles to the side. Okay. And how do you do that? You do that by getting five of these tiles of your color in a row. Once you have five in a row, those five are moved off the board, and you choose one of your rings to go off to the side. Wow, and then you're down a ring. Ooh, yeah. Cool. All right. Well, how do you get those five in a row? Well, when it's your turn, once you have all your rings placed on the intersections of the board, you just choose those at the start of the game? You choose those at the start of the game. Then you grab the tile from the side, flip it to your color. I'm black, so I'll be doing the black side. Put it in the middle of one of your rings, and move that ring along any one of the lines branching off. Okay. You can move it as far as you want. All right. That seems pretty simple. Yes. Are there some catches? I'm sure there are. There are plenty of catches. Another catch is you can place, once you place a tile and move along a line, you can move and jump over another tile. You have to stop immediately after the jump, but the tile gets flipped over. Awesome. If you're moving you have to, and hit another ring, you have to stop immediately. Okay. You cannot jump rings. So, I once had it where I had four of mine in a row, and I was right about to get another, uh, I was going to jump from here to here to get five, but the other person, just like that, got five in a row. Uh -huh. Setting each other up. Game. Now, if you flip over a tile, and it's your opponents, you can score five in a row for them, right? Yes, but that you, that's why you need to look at what you're doing before you do it. Yeah. Are there any other tricks? So you just can't jump over other rings? Can't jump over rings. You have to stop immediately after a jump. You can go anywhere along the lines. Jumping over a tile flips it. So it really is a lot of thinking game of where you place your rings, which ones you're flipping. What the other person can do, how they'll be able to stop you. Yeah. And then, as you move a ring off the board, then you've only got four then rings. Then you've got to work four with. rings to work with. Ooh, so it makes it a little tougher as you go too. So you may be thinking your way ahead, but then just like that, you cannot move that way or something along those lines. And they catch up and win. Wow. So what would you rate Yinch? Yinch, I would rate a four point five, or maybe even a four point seven five. Oh, you like it that much, huh? I like it that much. The only reason it's not getting a 5 is because I think games should have at least a tiny bit of luck if you're going to play them a lot. But this is a great once-in-a-while thinking game. Oh, nice. Thanks, Jaden. Okay, bye.